scientists have taken a hard look at what asteroids are really made of and what that means for future space mining. Here is what happened and why it matters. On December 25, 2025, a team from Spain's National Research Council, CSIC, released a detailed chemical study of carbonaceous chondrite meteorites, fragments of some of the most primitive asteroids. Joseph M. Trigo Rodriguez and colleagues analyzed six common chondrite types, measuring metals and rare earth elements to estimate how much valuable material their parent asteroids actually contain. The verdict is sobering. Most small, primitive asteroids seem too metal-poor to justify large-scale commercial mining in the near term. However, the team identified specific classes, recognized by minerals like olivine and spinel, that may host more concentrated resources. Perhaps more importantly, many carbonaceous asteroids appear rich in water and volatiles, making them attractive as future sources of in-space fuel and life support, rather than precious metals. Their paper in Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society provides a roadmap for linking meteorite chemistry, telescope spectra, and eventual sample return missions. Science Daily highlighted the study as one of its top four stories of the day, reflecting strong public curiosity about the economics of space resources. I think this nudges expectations away from asteroid gold rush fantasies toward more realistic goals like sourcing water and propellant. That shift could make space resource policy more pragmatic and science-driven from the outset.